starting a family is not without its stresses. But new research from Aberdeen and Dundee universities suggest COVID restrictions added to the normal pressures expectant mothers face. The restrictions in place had a big impact on how women experienced the service. Um, what we found was that some women were really more affected than others by being isolated, both socially isolated and feeling distant from their care providers. The survey asked more than 2,000 women about how they felt not having their birthing partner with them at various stages during their pregnancy. Of them, nearly 90% said that they had to attend their antenatal appointments alone and that more than half of them were uncomfortable with having to do so. When it came to the birth of their child, 73% of women said that they would have liked to have their birthing partners with them more in the postnatal ward. For many of the mothers here who had their children during the past two years, having a supportive partner by their side is essential. When we went for scans and things, my husband wasn't allowed into scans, so um, it, was, it, was more, it was a shame on him really, you know, he wasn't allowed to, he didn't get that opportunity like I did and I think it's a special moment. He was allowed in for two hours a day after we had the baby, but I think the moral support um, from him, if he, if he had been allowed in more, would have been absolutely invaluable. And being in there for three days, having had the baby for the first time, having gone through a C-section as I did, I think it was a lot to take in. It was a bit harder, more nerve-wracking, because it's kind of like, you just didn't know if someone was going to go wrong, or, and then my partner couldn't come to most of the appointments either, and I had to like get childcare for my daughter while I was getting my scans as well. It's hoped the study's findings could help shape any future policy, helping more mums and their babies in the future. Hayley Bomber, STV News.